Hey there, 2230 viewers. Welcome back to another episode where we dive deep into the latest news and controversial opinions. I'm here to break down the recent stir caused by the Polish blogger Michael Petrius, also known as Critical Spectator, and his comments on Singapore's lottery spending. Before we jump into the details, make sure to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content. Now, on Monday, Critical Spectator shared a news article from the Straits Times about the Tote Board's annual report, revealing a staggering 10.3 billion Singapore dollars spent on lotteries and sports betting in Singapore during the financial year ending March 2023. This marked a 12% increase from the previous year, largely fueled by heightened activity during the World Cup in Qatar. Critical Spectator didn't hold back, expressing his disbelief at the 10 billion Singapore dollar spending on lotteries and betting. He even went on to dismiss complaints about the cost of living, sparking controversy. Adding to the intrigue, Madam Ho Ching, former CEO of Temasek, shared Critical Spectator's post, leaving many questioning her stance on the matter. But the real action unfolded in the comments section. Netizens challenged Critical Spectator's assumptions, emphasizing the importance of understanding the context behind people's lottery expenditures, especially for those with lower incomes. Some argued that for many, Buying lottery tickets symbolizes hope for a better life, especially in the face of rising living costs. Singaporean blogger Pat Lowe entered the debate, criticizing Critical Spectator for displaying a lack of understanding of the struggles faced by the less fortunate. The debate intensified as netizens raised doubts about the origin of the 10 billion Singapore dollars spent, considering Singapore Pool's decision not to disclose a breakdown of bets. In response to the skepticism, Critical Spectator defended his viewpoint, focusing on the relative value of the money rather than its quantity. He acknowledged that wealthier individuals likely contributed a significant portion but delved into biased assumptions about spending habits based on ethnicity, raising eyebrows. Netizens continued to challenge Critical Spectator's claims, highlighting the diverse motivations behind lottery spending. Some emphasize the aspirations of ordinary, hard-working individuals, countering Petrius's notion that winning the lottery rarely makes anyone wealthy. A crucial argument surfaced about the government's role in addressing gambling behaviors. Some netizens suggested dismantling Singapore pools, akin to the approach with the turf club, to curb lottery spending. However, the complexity of the situation, involving revenue collection and choices in life, was pointed out. So, there you have it, 2230 viewers. The controversy surrounding Critical Spectator's remarks on Singapore's lottery spending is multifaceted, involving economic factors, personal aspirations, and even government policies. What are your thoughts on this issue? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that sparks insightful discussions. Until next time, stay engaged and stay informed.